going on guys? G2RX6 here back for another G1 Transformers review and today we're going to be taking a look at the Power Master Getaway and uh, he is a very very heavily modified racing RX7 uh, second generation car I really like the looks of this guy. I do have kind of an RX-7 bias. I owned one at one point in my life. Um, yeah, I just really like the uh, Generation 2 RX-7. So since he's a Power Master, you get his little Power Master guy rev here. And let's just kind of look at him a little bit closer here to see some of the detail. Not very much stuff is painted. Articulation, you get the awkward legs which do go out to the sides and his arms will articulate but if you look close you can see on the back here there's that extra bit of material you really don't want to articulate the arms on a power master just like you don't a headmaster so you don't snap these arms off so if you're not familiar with the power masters what they do is for simple transformation in which case the uh, only thing is to fold his legs up and kind of peg these things into the side of his arms but even that isn't a super solid peg job as you can see here it just doesn't really peg but you fold them up and they make a little engine that is supposed to uh, plug in here to your power master and really in the TV show the the cars couldn't actually transform without the power master actually in them um, this is the Japanese, uh, what was it, Vic, no, not Victory, Master Force, the Master Force TV shows where we saw, you know, like, uh, the, uh, Power Master Optimus Prime. So, yeah, it forms an engine and he sits there. You also get the gun here, very simple, plugs right in on the roof if you want it. Yeah, not bad. Now, they did kind of make a classics version of Getaway. This is from the 2007 uh, Transformers movie line, and this is actually Getaway, so don't confuse him with the uh, jet that came out in Revenge of the Fallen. But you can see they've kind of got the same things going on. I would have liked to have seen some better striping or even some repro labels to make the stripes going all the way back better. Um, I don't believe there was any repro labels for him, but be really cool to have that red white and blue deco going on and maybe something to make this a bit more vibrant pink but overall it's not a horrible reimagining of him um, when you put the power master on the front kind of this top piece for your cybertron key reminds me a lot of the power master block um, if this was picked out with some silver or something that would look pretty cool and we put the gun back on top here and of course your cybertron hot or enter Cybertron Hotshot gets his gun on the top here and this is not the proper key but if you want to you can give him a bigger spoiler with the uh, cyber key gimmick alright so let's get this guy transformed and he's G1 so it's real simple we're gonna start with the back here and we're just gonna kinda take this and flip the whole thing around now this is made in two separate pieces but the spoiler is one solid piece so there's no splitting this apart like that you're going to come down here and we're going to rotate his feet out like so all the way around again very simple G1 let's bring this on up here now this is the part that you need the power master for you can do this just by pushing in the blue tab here and that will actually unlock everything but what's the fun of that we're going to do it with the power master of course my power master sits in perfectly once he's like this but once this is out this power master is going to come flinging out to the side here so just watch this there he goes so once this is all the way down and our power master is thrown across, across the floor it really kind of can't plug him in too terribly well back here just because of how the whole mechanism works but once that's down like so you can, if his head got stuck, just kind of push it with your hand and it should pop straight on up like that. That is usually part of the reason my Power Master gets sent across the place. And what a shame. My getaway has a nice chip of plastic missing from his face. I'll have to try to color match that and uh, get that taken care of at some point in my life. But, whatever. You take these and you flip them out to the side like so you can put them however you want them elevated if you want them flat I personally like them up like this and then what we're gonna do is 
grab the front of the car here and turn it all the way around so that the uh, racing faces straight up like that. By doing that, that's going to give us plenty of room to rotate his waist around like this. And then we'll just fold his little arms down like this, flip out his hands, and there we go. We've got Getaway. Now his artic articulation is super duper limited. You get this, and you get this. And I suppose backwards if you really want to. So you're not really getting a whole bunch of articulation on this guy. But let's give him his gun anyway. And uh, yeah, that is uh, getaway. This does not fold down anymore. There is no like double hinge mechanism or anything like that. It just kind of hangs off the back like so. And let's put him to the side here. Because like I showed, there was that redo of the... Uh, Energon or Cybertron hotshot as a getaway and here we go and I think that they pretty well nailed it with this guy the uh, yellow is a little different in the face but it's not too drastically off you got a lot of the same cues going on for colors which I really like and you got the uh, crazy shoulders so I think that the uh, Cybertron hotshot serves perfectly as a classics getaway so Yep, that was just a quick G1 review. I hope you guys enjoyed the review. I'll be back next week with something a little more in-depth. Probably those fans project guys I keep talking about. And uh, I'll see you then.